Welcome to Badge World, it's your boy Badge back with a world shaking video right now. I need you to like, comment, subscribe, and share, share, share this one. Everybody needs to see this. I'm going to show you how to raise some really, really serious questions with the Bible using the first verse of the first chapter of the Bible right here in Genesis. I'm using Blue Letter Bible. Uh, it's an app that you can download on your phone. If you're interested in the Bible, you absolutely need to get this app. But we're going to go right into it. Genesis chapter 1, verse 1, a scripture everybody knows. In the beginning, God created the heaven and the earth. So with this app, you can click on the verse. You hit enter linear, right? And then it's going to show you the Hebrew on the left, the English on the right. Right in that scripture, the word God is the word Elohim. If you click on that word, it's going to pull up and show you that the, the root word is plural. Very key. The root word is plural. It means rulers, judges, divine ones, angels, gods. Now, it does have a singular and plural meaning, but depending on the sentence being used, it lets you know whether to use it as a plural or a singular. So let's go back to the to the verse. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. Now, if we follow this chapter. There is no point in where God introduces anybody else into this story. It's just God by himself. God is creating the waters. He's creating the dry land. He's creating uh, the grass. He's saying, let there be light. The, you know, we're going day by day. There's great wells. He's creating animals. He's bringing forth the earth. You know what was going on. But right now, when we get to verse 26, and God said, let us make man in our own image right here. It lets you know that the proper use of that word Elohim is plural, not singular. So this is one of the biggest tricks of how we've been taught to read the Bible is that at least in, Genu in Genesis 1, the word God is supposed to be plural. So if you click on uh, verse 26, enter linear, just to prove it to you, it's still Elohim. You click on that, it's still plural, plural. So we know basic English, let us make man in our own image. So this scripture should read, and the gods said, let us make man in our own image. So Genesis chapter one, verse one should read in the beginning, the gods created the heavens and the earth. That is groundbreaking right there. So the question is, who are the gods and who is the true God? Oh man, this is groundbreaking, shaking, world shaking stuff right here. I need this to get to a million views. I need you to share this to every Bible scholar you know, every apologist you know, anybody of influence that you know. I need to know all the opinions, all the excuses. I need to hear them. Why do they say God when the Hebrew word is the plural? That means God. Get this up to a million views, y'all. Up to a million views. And if we get this to a million views, I will show who the gods are and who the true God is. Yo, this is Badge World, man. Holla at me.